His Excellency Xi Jinping, Secretary General of the Communist Party of China, President of the People's Republic of China, CPC party leaders, senior political party leaders from all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great honor to speak at the World Political Party Summit with such a distinguished audience. I want to particularly thank the International Department of the CPC Central for organizing this virtual summit and giving my party, the Pakistan People's Party, an opportunity to speak at this level of representation. The Pakistan People's Party extends its warmest wishes and congratulations to the people of China, His Excellency President Xi, and the CPC for the party's historic 100-year anniversary. Today, the CPC has become the world's biggest political party with more than 90 million members and leads a country with the largest population. Under your able leadership and consistent policy, China has made great strides in the fight against poverty and has simultaneously become one of the largest economies on earth. Despite the COVID crisis, which slowed the economic wheel globally, disrupted healthcare systems across the globe, China has today achieved unprecedented economic growth, leaving lessons, learning lessons, for the rest of us. I was so pleased to learn that the People's Republic of China has lifted more than 100 million people, especially from rural areas, out of poverty since 2012. When the CPC's people-friendly economic policies, countrywide poverty eradication campaign, China's success in combating poverty proves that true economic growth only counts if it benefits the poorest in society. Today, as we see China's economic power through the uh, revolutionary One Belt, One Road initiative, it is a matter of both pride and responsibility that makes me say that the Pakistan People's Party is fully committed to realizing the, the potential of this great dream. The China-Pakistan component, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, rests on groundwork and foundation laid by the Pakistan People's Party government in Pakistan and the Chinese Communist Party's government in China. Under President Zardari and Chinese leaders' leadership, Pakistan and China laid the foundation for CPEC and Gawadar Port linking our two countries in deeper and more meaningful ways than ever before. We are proud of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and see it as a culmination of a relationship between two great countries, a relationship that began with Chairman Mao and Kaide Awam Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, sustained by every coming generation fostered by Shaheed Motruma Benazir Puto in her time. And I have the honor of seeing these joint efforts turn into the reality of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, linking our peoples and our countries together for times to come. Whether it be investments abroad or humanitarian assistance during the pandemic, a global climate responsibility or international development that benefits all via its soft power. China under President Xi has entered a new phase of global leadership. Let me take this opportunity to reiterate that the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor goes beyond partisan politics for us and that we are all united around one fundamental truth in a world defined by unexpected conflicts and challenges, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is the economic stabilizer that can steer Pakistan into the 21st century. China, under the CPC, has also become a global leader in the COVID vaccination distribution effort. And on behalf of Pakistan and my party, I would like to thank the CPC for donating vaccines to my country, especially during the these testing times when Pakistan faced another COVID wave. This only reinforces the reality that China has always sided
with Pakistan in difficult times. I would like to thank the International Department of CPC Central for making this summit possible and the Chinese government for its unfaltering cooperation, support and all-weather friendship to the people of Pakistan and my party, the Pakistan People's Party. The future really does lie in peace and cooperation. As of today, it is China leading the way for global cooperation instead of global conflict. This is the only way for my generation to be part of a future of perpetual peace and break with the past habits of perpetual conflict. Thank you.